All right, it's Thursday. We've just gotten back for the Rolex 24, uh, starting up practice again. Uh, but now we have our driver RV here. Want to give you a little bit of a tour of what we got going on. Um, so we got a uh, bunk up over top of the driver area. Got our little dinette and TV area, small couch, which will fold out. Maybe we will use it, maybe not. We might let that uh, just be. We've got bunk beds here, which we're mostly just gonna use as a storage area. See, I got my gear back down there for now. Uh, the other guys will be bringing theirs over from the trailer and adding that to the pile. We got a, a big bed back here. Closets and stuff, obviously, we will never use. It's a little bit of a small unit, um, but convenient. We can grab a shower if we need to, rinse off, cool off. Don't think we'll be doing a whole lot of cooking, uh, but we will have fridge stocked with stuff and uh, just mostly drinks and snacks that we can kind of you know, rehydrate with, get a, a snack going. Um, and we'll all just cycle through here since usually there's, you know, obviously going to be somebody in the car, somebody. Uh, at pit lane ready to go at all times so really there's only ever two drivers that get a chance to step away and get a break so don't need a huge spot uh, but this will give us a nice place to hang change rest for a little bit at night and um, be a nice little break from the action That's it for us from practice two. Uh, we are quitting a little bit early. You can still hear some cars going around, but we want to save some of these tires uh, because we get a certain number allotted for the whole weekend. We want to make sure that we've got enough for the race. Uh, so we're saving some from practice, uh, minimizing our use of tires in practice. The car's feeling pretty good, but we want to make sure that we've got uh, what we need for the race. We're going to throw on one more new set for the night practice and use them again tomorrow at uh, the last practice session on Friday. Uh, but uh, yeah, these guys are going to get to stay nice and fresh for a little while, and then uh, we'll scrub some sets to make sure they're ready to go on during the race uh, in the colder hours and get right up to speed quicker. Uh, so that's what they're doing right now. They're back to, about to come back to the garage after scrubbing some of those sets. Uh, but otherwise, looking good so far.
looking down at those who left me. Promise I'm not being petty. I'm the one they envy. Brody moving state to state. Make a million out to send me. Plus I grind in front of stars. I was stacking pennies. I might dip like Machiavelli. After the confetti. Who ready? We ready? Who ready? We ready? Who ready? Who? We ready? Who? Who ready? Who? We ready? Who? Who ready? We ready? Who ready? We ready? Who ready? Who? We ready? Who? Who ready? Who? We ready? Who? How satisfied are you with your haircut? Very satisfied with this haircut. It uh, it it came from a garage in Ormond Beach. Uh, it took a very long time to find the guy. I thought I was in a tattoo shop, but it was in fact a barber, and uh, he specializes in mullets. So I felt like I was in good hands for this experience. So we're gonna go ahead and run it this week, uh, see how this setup works. It's a little bit loose out back, but we'll see how she hangs in there, you know? All right, so we're just finishing up the grid walk. They're starting to clear it out. Uh, we are starting at the back, basically. So we got a long way to go. Uh, it's super hot. I'm gonna do the first double, uh, hopefully get ourselves a little bit further up and maybe get off strategy a little bit to try to get some track position, but it's a long way to go. We got a fast car. I think we should be pretty good. So, here goes nothing. All right, uh, do a funny dance for us or something. Tell us a German joke. I did already, and all the German jokes are black humor, so. <laughs> no pictures, please. Not ready for the camera. Well, I'm writing my ad libs. <laughs> I just got done with my first couple of stints. I did almost three hours of drive time. Uh, we had a yellow within like 20 or 30 minutes of the start. Uh, just did a quick fill, uh, no tire change, and went back out. Had a great stint, got up to P3 or four uh, from like 18th. And then on our full service stop, we had an issue with the air jack. So we scrambled, had to get it back out uh, with the same old tires that we were on after already having a stint a half on those. Uh, so it was a, a difficult stint, um, but you know, we were slipping around a lot. Everybody else was on new tires. Only dropped back to seven, so I was really happy with that. Uh, Kenton got in the car after me, going well so far, under yellow again. Uh, so hopefully we can get into a rhythm here, get some green flag running, but we got a really good car. Just gotta keep it clean for the next 20 hours. We are under yellow, it's something like 10, 10.30, I think. Um, I am gonna go queue up on pit road and drive her up next, uh, mixing the car right now. We've been running top five, um, depending on pit cycles and stuff, but it seems like the car is really good. Um, maybe something going on where we're top speed is not quite where it was. Uh, we'll see if that plays true or not. Uh, but so far, so good. The car's been running strong overall. Sounds like we're going back to restart right now.
switch to headsets. like 2 33 in the morning i just got out of a my second time in the car a double stint uh, everything went pretty well uh, we made it past the halfway point uh, we were at p2 at the time so now i think we're tied with the mclaren from inception for the the lead and the points there uh, but every, everything seems to be going pretty well the car is running great um, it's going to be super hard to beat the mclaren on pure pace but hopefully we can do something in the strategy or whatever um, to give i am and uh, otherwise everything looks pretty good and Ken's back in the car again he's gonna do a double cycle through everybody I should be back in the car at like eight or so we'll see how that goes Six thirty in the morning. Uh, gonna head down to the pit box. I think uh, Max is still in for a couple of laps, but uh, Mick's gonna go in, do his double stint, and then I'll go in for my final time for the the race. Uh, just gonna see sun up here in a few minutes, so it should start warming up. And I'm gonna get down to the wire where everything's gonna have to speed up and see who really has the pace. Uh, we've still been running top three pretty consistently. Uh, fighting mostly the same cars, the 57, the 12, the 70. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough one, but hopefully we can hang in there for the end. change unfortunately we had a little bit of wheel spin when that happened so we've uh, had a penalty now we drive through drop back to fifth place uh, but the car's still good still some time we just gotta make no mistakes all the way to the finish now So far, everyone did a good job. Uh, we had a drive through that we could recover with the safety car, so yeah, still to play for, but um, I think we're missing a bit, but let's see. Yeah. You're asking me for words this early. 
late. I don't know what even time it is. All right, we're inside the last hour now. We've done our final scheduled pit stop. Hopefully we don't need any more. I just heard that they called uh, yellow, so uh, things are gonna get interesting here. We've got a restart basically for the win. Uh, Kenton is in the car. I believe he's third at the moment, maybe. Um, anyway, we're gonna have to battle it out with the 57 Windward car, the Lexus. Uh, a couple of Ferraris are in the mix. Uh, it's going to be a, quite a battle, I think. We don't really have the outright pace, typically. Uh, and since the sun came up, it seems like uh, a couple of these other cars have turned it up and are pretty quick. But um, we'll see. Hopefully, we can pull it out. <laughs> consolation prize I guess but pretty disappointing we ended up fifth uh, in the race um, which is good considering the level of competition here but really disappointing that we didn't have the pace uh, you know as Sunday morning as things sped up but uh, the team did an awesome job obviously we get good points out of it but feeling a little bit underwhelmed uh, at the moment yeah. I mean everyone did a really nice job Mike Kenton and Maxi that was an accident so we try again next year Okay, my name is Julian. Uh, I'm in charge of the U.S. racing program, so an IMSA and SRO. Um, yeah, just as I said, we won the race in GTD class, which is amazing. At the same time, I'm a bit heartbroken for you guys from the Gortov team. Um, the effort definitely would have deserved the podium at least, if not also a win. So, uh, yeah, I hope we'll be back, try again next year, and uh, have a good rest of the season. My turn. I have a watch, I don't need a Rolex. I, I'm anyway not allowed to wear it, so um, IWC is anyway better. <laughs> so yeah, we have to come uh, next year again, I guess. We tried everything, we did no mistakes, major mistakes. I think it was a very clean race from us, from our side, and yeah, uh, let's try next year.